Welcome back painting friends. Today we are gonna paint a cute little hummingbird um, that is getting some nectar from a flower. The colors you're gonna need are yellow, green, blue, purple, white, black, and pink. I always have my favorite brushes. I've got my one inch flat brush, my 10, six, and one round brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water and a rag handy for keeping your brushes clean. So let's get started. Our background is gonna be a very light, breezy, easy background. So I'm actually gonna start by painting the whole thing white. So the entire canvas, just gonna throw some white on it. It does not have to be completely covered, but you should have enough white on there that your colors are gonna just kind of softly mute together. So once I have that on, I'm gonna go in with some yellow and I'm just gonna drop little bits of spots of yellow in a circle. I can wipe my brush off and I'm gonna do the same thing with pink around those. And then really all I'm gonna do with my brush is just kind of take those colors and in circle motions, just kind of blend them together. Again, super, super, super light background. Adding a little bit more white to my edges because my pink stopped smearing. So a little bit of white to those edges and then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more pink. I do want the edges of this to be a little darker than the interior. Let's brush that pink in, just going in like a curved line. Okay, this time I'm going to actually wash my brush off because I don't want too much of that pink in the middle. And then we're gonna finish blending these colors in. So with a clean brush, clean dry brush, I'm gonna start with white paint in the middle and I'm just gonna start with those circles one more time. This is where I wanna get rid of the actual lines of my mixing and make it just kind of one solid mix. So I'm going in a circle, making circles with my brush so that these colors can all just gently mix together. Okay, I have got a background that I love, so we are gonna let this dry. When we come back, we will lay out where our flower and our bird are gonna go. Now that we have a dry background, I'm gonna take my number six round brush with a little bit of green paint on it. And this is where I'm gonna just lay out some of my flowers that are kind of coming down. I'm gonna make a curved line right here. I'm gonna have flowers that are hanging on that. And then over here, I'm gonna make two more. Just so I've got my canvas kind of framed a little bit. And right in the center of this, we are gonna put our bird. Now for these flowers, they're gonna be purplish and bluish, but what we're gonna do is use our number 10 round brush as our stamp almost. So I'm gonna set this down and I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna pull it up to that vine, okay? And I'm starting off with the dark purple. It's kind of my base layer. And as I go up a little bit higher, I'm gonna make these kind of come out so that it looks like it's you know, a little bit thicker at the top than it is at the bottom. So I'm just gonna keep laying these dark colors in first. After I have those dark colors in, I'm gonna add a little bit of white to my purple and make it slightly lighter. It doesn't have to be a lot lighter, just a little bit. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start to lay out some more little stamps of this color. I'm gonna do this with three different layers of light purple paint. So now I'm gonna grab some more white, add it to my purple, and do my next layer. Now my last layer, I'm actually gonna use just white on a dirty brush. So plain white on my dirty brush. And I'm gonna lay these colors in one more time. Okay. 
And like I said, I could do the same thing with purple or a purple blue mix. So I think I'm gonna make this one right here a blue. It's gonna go dark blue to light blue. And then this one over here, I'm probably gonna do a mix. So same exact idea, just using my brush to kind of lay those colors down, making it a little bit fatter as I go up towards the top of my canvas. We will be adding a little bit more details to these flowers as they dry. Um, but now let's go ahead and lay out where that hummingbird of ours is going to go. I'm gonna use my number six round brush just to try to lay out where I want my hummingbird to go. So with my number six round brush, I'm gonna use um, probably a light pink color so that I can see it, but I can also paint over it pretty easily. So I'm just mixing up some of my pink paint with some of my white paint to get a, a lighter pink color. And my hummingbird is gonna be over here eating off of these flowers. So for that hummingbird body, what I wanna do is I wanna start right here and I wanna make a gentle belly, okay? So it's a curved line. This is where his face is gonna be. And then we've got our belly all the way down to our tail. Now the head of our hummingbird is going to be a little bit rounded. And then from that round, it's gonna be just a gentle line down to the back of the body. The little hummingbird tail is gonna come down this way. And the wings, which are gonna start just below the head, right here on the shoulder, those wings are gonna go up at an angle and then over. Now remember, this is just our basic outline. We're not doing anything crazy yet. But when we go up and over, then they are going to just kind of gently come back down here and connect again. We do have a wing that's on the other side and that other wing is gonna be slightly smaller, but mimicking that first one. All right, so now that we have our basic outline of our hummingbird, what we're gonna do is we are just gonna take that light pink and white mixture and just kind of fill that space in so that we know where that hummingbird is. But we also have one easy solid background to paint in. Okay, we're gonna let our hummingbird dry. When we come back, we are gonna add in our final details. So we have our dry background. Now let's go ahead and start laying in the colors of our hummingbird. So I'm gonna use my number six round brush just to lay out our basic colors, and then we'll go back in and add our details. So the belly of our hummingbird is actually gonna be pretty white, but I don't want it to look like a solid color. So what I'm gonna do is actually drop on here itty bitty dots of white, just like this. So just taking my brush and barely tapping it over that light pink area. And that's gonna give it a little bit more of a look of feathers rather than painted. Now that white is going to start to fade into a yellow. So I'm not even washing my brush off, but I grab some yellow paint. And then I'm gonna start adding a little bit of yellow, keeping the white and the yellow blending just a little bit so that we 
don't have such an aggressive yellow at the very beginning. So if you need to like, you know, lighten up your yellow with some white, you can. And this yellow is actually going to go all the way up towards the middle of the head. So just kind of blend those colors by just dotting between the two just a little bit. Then from that yellow, it's gonna go to a green yellow. So I'm gonna have yellow on my brush and green on my brush. So both colors are on my brush, yellow and green. And I'm gonna start dotting from down here with both yellow and green. I'm gonna finish out with a plain green. So I did not wash my brush off, but then I'm just gonna kind of add into here a plain green color, just dotting so that I could see some of that pink behind it. Just a little bit of that pink. But I'm also getting a darker gradient of that green up at the top. Now our little tail feathers down here are gonna start with that green, that dark green at the top of them. And then these are gonna go kind of in an opposite fashion. So I've got that dark green, I'm gonna go in with the yellow now and lighten it up. And this time I am gonna wash my brush off and I'm gonna to start to go in with that light pink that I painted my bird with. Going into that dark pink. And this is where some of our um, tail feathers are gonna kind of blend off. So I'm gonna to start to define them by almost making what looks like little fingers, right? So I'm now turning them into their own little separate sections of the tail. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of white at the bottom, kind of bring that color back up. And that white I can use to just kind of blend some of these colors into each other a little bit more. Wipe that brush off. Let's go back up here and focus on the head. Let me get a clean brush. Let's go back up to our head of our bird. The bottom of our bird's head is actually a, a bright pink color. So I'm gonna just take that brush and kind of blend it a little bit going from the top of the belly up into the face. Now there is gonna be a small area right here that's gonna stay kind of light. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow on my brush. And I'm gonna just add it right here at the bottom of my head, just to kind of show where the yellow and the pink kind of come together. And then with that brush still dirty, just some white paint, I'm gonna fill in the center space right here. Wash that brush off. Let's go ahead and look at our bird's beak. So um, hummingbirds have very long beaks. I'm actually gonna grab some watered down black paint on my number six round brush. And my beak is gonna start right here at the bottom of the, the curve. And it's just gonna kinda come up and over. So there's just a gentle curve up, and then it's gonna go right into our plant. 
Now I'm just gonna do the bottom part of the beaks and I'm gonna make a straight line and kind of connect these two and just fill that in. Because we do wanna have a little bit of highlight at the top. So I'm just gonna connect those two with a straight line. And then for the top, I'm gonna keep my brush kind of dirty, but I'm gonna grab some white paint and I'm just gonna make a small little area at the top of the beak with the white paint. Just kind of blend those down a little bit. I want it to be mostly dark on the bottom, so if I get too much white, just wipe that brush off and grab some more black. Wash that brush off really good. I'm gonna add the smallest amount of pink paint to the top of this beak, just a little bit. All right. Do you think I want a couple more little feathers down here right along the bottom of this belly? Every time I look at something, I think about how I can improve it. <laughs> okay, now let's go ahead and talk about these wings. So the wings are gonna be very similar to the body. Uh, we're gonna start with yellow and green at the top, a little bit of pink, and it's gonna end out with white. So just like the tail, yellow and green at the top, a little bit of pink, end out with the white. We're gonna do this back wing first. And that back wing, we're gonna start with mostly yellow and a little bit of green on our brush. And we're gonna just kind of bring those colors in at a small angle. Actually, I'm totally doing my angle wrong. I need to go this direction. So mostly yellow, a little bit of green. And I'm just brushing these colors in at a gentle angle. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker green, so just green on my dirty brush. I'm not changing my brush at all. But I'm gonna make those little lines go on through here with that little bit of green. Wash that brush off. Now I'm gonna go in with a lot of white and a little bit of pink. And then right between these two little areas, I'm just gonna go in with some pink. So we're gonna do the same thing to start out with on our front feather. I'm just kind of blending these up here a little bit better so they're not such solid colors going in. So I'm gonna start with that yellowish green at the top, move to green, then to my pinks and my whites. So let's do this. Right here along this edge, I'm gonna do a straight line of yellow. Underneath that, a very skinny line of green. And then I'm just gonna pull these colors down just a little bit, blend them just a little bit. wash that brush off. Now this is I think probably going to be the hardest part. So I'm going to take my pink paint and I'm going to create these um, edges to my feathers, right? So I'm going to take long skinny lines and I'm going to make a loop at the bottom and then pull them up. A loop at the bottom and pull them up.
from that, I'm gonna use just white paint and I'm going to dab and pull those lines all the way back up. So I wanna leave a little bit of that pink, but I also want to have that pink kind of disappear into my white. So if you notice you've got too much pink, just add a little bit more white. Then you're just gonna use these small little brush strokes to pull that pink and white up back to the bird's body. I'm gonna put a little bit of pink at the top of each of these and just kind of blend that color up so that it's not that solid white all the way up. So just a little bit of pink on my brush. My brush is already a little dirty with some white on it. Just that little bit of pink going up. Oop, that's a lot of pink. Wipe it off and add some white. Love, love, love how this bird is coming together. Let's work on our little birdie eyeball. I'm gonna zoom you in so that you've got a good close up of our bird face. So I'm gonna start out with some white paint. Right here in this light area, I'm gonna make it go, have like a, a shorter little tail in the back and then have it be more of a oval shape at the front. Once I have the white on there, I can wash my brush off and grab some black. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing just on the inside with the black paint. Now, while I still have that black on my brush, I'm gonna add just a, the smallest, I'm talking the smallest amount of little black lines just outside of my eye. Going up to my beak. Wash that brush off really well and we're gonna give our bird eye a little highlight. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of white paint and I'm gonna make just a curved line right here at the front and a little dot at the back for my eye. All right, let's zoom out and finish up our details. All right, the last couple things we're gonna add is I'm gonna take a little bit of white on here now. I've got my number six round brush. And I'm just gonna put some of these um, diagonal lines of white on the top of this just to kind of brighten it up. Wipe that brush off, a little bit of yellow, not nearly as much yellow as I'm gonna have my white. All right, well, I do think that our little hummingbird is finished, so you know what to do next. You need to find a color that's gonna show up well on your canvas and sign your name. I always put my initials in the bottom right corner of my paintings. Remember that I never get to see what you're painting at home unless you post it to our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you are kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.